Previously on Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. <laughs> Were you that dog in that other game? <laughs> it's right, I came for, I came for that game for this game. Uh, I, I'm a Pomeranian! <laughs> 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 and now back to being dead. Hello! This is Sneako B, back with some more Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. We last left off, we met Missile, the funny talking Pomeranian dog, who we saved using our awesome ghostly powers. And uh, you guys actually confirmed that I, that, uh, I was right, actually. The, the dog in the um, Phoenix Wright game was actually called Missile, too. Apparently, that's the name of the uh, the creator, uh, creator of who is the creator of this game as well. So that's the name of his dog, um, Missile. Uh, there were two different types of there were two different types of dogs, but the the, the name's the same. So so that's kind of a funny funny little Easter egg they kind of, or a little bonus Easter egg they put in there. Anyway. I think I'm trapped in the house now or something because the donuts rolled away or something. I don't know. Or, or no, the phone got dropped into the, um, into the aquarium. Once again, Lynn is in danger and I think she knows it too. And I sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to the, this apartment tonight. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead and I can't lose her. I have to get to her fast. Probably since I can, I could probably just ride the dog, right? Like, can he like take me somewhere? Right, maybe? With the telephone in this apartment being out of service, my only hope of escape is to find another telephone. No Mr. Desk Lamp here, the only friend I have to talk to is a <laughs> little doggy girl up on the floor, look at you. Alright. Hey, buddy. Uh, I guess I can't really ride him, can I? <laughs> oh, hello! Watch up! I was wondering if you could help me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> About everything I'm really good at you. It's barking! There really isn't much else! I think you might be right there. <laughs> and pooping on things! I, I like pooping things! But I'm really, really good at barking! <laughs> Miss Lynn comes chasing after me with a broom, the lady next door kicks the wall. I got quite a bit of influence around these parts! <laughs> Yeah, here she comes. I'll knock this wall down. Damn it all. I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, yep. She's got a phone in there. I gotta get in there. If you keep that racket up, I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you. <laughs> I will kill all of you. I will light you all on fire. And murder your children. <laughs> She's leaves. She's carrying a big old glass of wine. Did I say what I... Did I hear what I just... Did I hear what I just heard? Give me the lady next door, angry hell. <laughs> she don't like me very much. No, forget that. It's the sound of a telephone ring coming from the apartment next door. Oh, I get you think I'm a boy with a telephone, are you? But how are you gonna do without breaking the wall down? The lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. <laughs> yeah, but she's mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I really like that. Uh. Okay, well, let's just get her to, can I get her to bang the thing again? I need more, I need a little more racket, not less. I don't think I should turn this off at the moment. So, oh, okay, I want to see that, this one will really keep her promise. Oh, what would become of me if I could squash it into a Pomeranian pancake? Is there anything else to spur this little doggy on a little bit more? Okay, uh, oh, oh, remote control, let's get the TV going. <laughs> I'll pound this wall down. I will slay all of you. Oh, there goes the painting. Holy shit. <laughs> Old lady mad. Old lady smash. <laughs> oh my god, did she kill the dog? <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I told you I knocked the wall down on you. Holy shit. Uh. Oh no, are you okay? <laughs> So this is what it feels like to have a, a wall knocked down you, huh? That's why she knocked you out through the wall, really. <laughs> I'm still alive, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> He's just lying there. You are. But the TV and the statement, the star ornament aren't. <laughs> I'll never bark again. Not as long as I live. <laughs> what? Oh, wait a minute. It's kind of like a motion wasn't for not. No! Huh? Ah, okay. 
The rocking made her create a path for me. It did? But the monster's dead just like before. There are paths only the dead can see. Oh, that's got a pass. <laughs> I like dead paths. Trick time. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Doop, 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 doop. Eh. Eh. Okay. Oh, there we go. No. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Farewell, my doggy friend. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> So you're leaving, huh? I guess so. <laughs> you're gonna go see Miss Camille, Miss Lynn. That fell my own mis my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. Are you well said, the man? You better say I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna bark at you. And then I'm gonna love you. <laughs> <laughs> it helps me along my way, then yes. I don't have any powers to tip. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm gonna find a way to help Miss Camille do. Well, we create our own paths, right, Missile? So that's right! <laughs> I hope the dog shows up again. I was, he was a funny character. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving now. Guess it's our second goodbye. Goodbye, funny doggy. It is, isn't it? My name's Sissel. If you ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Sissel! Oh, okay, I got it. You know what, Sissel? I'm gonna create my own bed, just like you said. <laughs> I love you, Sissel! Okay, I'm gonna go poop on the door now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here I go! I'm going in! Oh! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get this time, don't worry. Okay, I want your bed. Okay, that telling him to do that might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Tonight is the holiest of all nights, my deadline. All I need is to get some inspiration from the muses. Put this bottle in some cheese. Here's, here's to the boorish people next door. Do it though, added. Oh, there's somebody else there. Oh, you all right, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? I swear to God, if you haven't, I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> I'm gonna knock a wall down on you. Well, here I am in another strange room. So the oddly tense air of this place, anyway. Now, where is that little treasure I'm looking for? Uh, way the hell over there. There it is, cell phone. Now, if I can just borrow it. Even now, Lynn's life is in danger after use the phone and fast. Can't really make the woman bring it to me. I guess I'll just find a way over there myself. Oh, look, the mouse is up there. Eh, wait, can I can I get over there? Yeah, there we go. Come on, mousey. Come on down. <laughs> that mouse is like, what is what is your deal, dude? Yeah, go mouse. Oh, I see him. <laughs> Why do you hate me so much? Go mouse. <laughs> Please stop. Uh, what do you have to say, lady? Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman. No, I'm a married man, but you can't resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all to you. If it means my ultimate ruination. Mm -hmm. Ruination, is that even a word? And that abdicated just doesn't look right, he says, somehow. This is going to nag me until I'm sure. Oh, I see, so she's an... She's a writer or an author or something. Where, no, where are you going, Mousy? Did I accomplish anything with that? Dictionary, examine. Oh, he's going up there. This thing is too heavy, I can't manipulate it. Maybe that woman built up her destructive power by hefting this puppy. More like a weapon than a book. Where's that dictionary? Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, I see. All right, let's get. Okay. I'm gonna get the get the mouse to come down there so she'll look at it. Where the hell is that dictionary, son of a? Hell, <laughs> <laughs> the mouse is like. Ah, <laughs> I just can't find. No. No, I mustn't. I mustn't allow myself to believe in your love, Mr. Prime Minister. But why won't you believe me? My love for you is true, I swear. And it's so strong it overwhelms me and my penis. Yes. You know, I've always wondered if you can be overwhelmed by something when you... Can you be just plain whelmed? <laughs> this is going to nag me until I'm sure. <laughs> okay, it's a trick. There we go. To the dictionary. 
There we go. Oh, there it is. Oh, I swear, if it were a snake, it would have bit me. Holy shit, that's a big motherfucker. But it's strange. I know I left this dictionary on the shelf. So it's just some angel, little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. What? Uh. What you do you are smashing the fucking wall there. Perhaps my darling angel. It's totally her child. Probably a girl just based on the coffee. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> what the hell is it? Uh, okay. Turn knob. What does that do? <laughs> Look at the little girl with the funny pigtails. What is it, my darling angel? Ow, my head hurts, mama! You poor dear, no wonder, with a fever of 102. Here's to the night of fever, hotter than the love of my prime minister. It's almost time to go out for, for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yeah, I suppose that would be the be my best, but wait a minute. I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially if I ever if I ever don't want to go, I just don't go and I pretend I did. <laughs> I go play with Camille next door or something. Here is the blunt honesty of my darling angel. <laughs> she loves doing that, doesn't she? Hey, today's Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Are we going to celebrate together? Let's talk or not, not talk about your father, dear. Now Ma has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight after all. Mama, wait! I just have one thing to say. Don't try to put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it's very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Now, now, it's time for little girls to go to sleep. Especially sick little girls. I hate you, Mama! <laughs> Aww. Interesting little... The characters in this game are very interesting. It's like... Good characterization and everything. Oh, I felt bad for a little girl there. These two are quite the pair. The father would have to be a pretty strong man holding his own against them. Sounds like their family circumstances are pretty complicated. What if, what if I had a family? Okay, so that's the dictionary. So I guess... I can't reach anything. I guess I'll wait for her to get going, and then... Oh, my lamp is out! Uh, anything? What the hell?! Did she, like, just... Did she just fart and let that shit... <laughs> no, I think she rubbed it I think she rubbed it against her ass, but I don't think that's much better. Uh... I don't hear it My darling lady, to think that you were a spy all along. Oh. What are you going to do me to me, Mr. Prime Minister? I will arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. You're sentenced to be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of passion. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, my dear lady. Mm. Oh, it's getting steamy in here, baby. Mm, I'd hate to live in this Prime Minister's country. What is going on here? Oh, I made a typo. Oh, oh, here we go. Write the paper. Yeah. Oh, oh, go in the trash. Go in there. Oh, uh. I'm like sitting on top of the trash. Oh, oh, open waste basket. Go. Uh, write it to the top here. Huh. Yes, I made it. Who the devil could it be? Well, hello! Oh! Uh, oh, damn it. What am I gonna give you? I've already given my German voice. He, he looks kind of like he could have a German voice, too. Hello, is that you? How many times am I going to, Are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is the holiest of all nights, my deadline. Please, I'm begging you. Change your mind and come home to me. That uh, must be the husband, I guess. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please, put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. 
Till you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if it means that means forever! 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 <laughs> Look at her eyes. Oh, poor dude. Let me talk to Emil then, at least. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I won't be giving, having you give her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa. No, I don't want to hear you. I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. You shut the hell up. You and your funny face. And Dude, look at this badass mustache. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I refuse to answer. Trace completed. Oh. I don't think I need to go... Do I need to go there? I like can bounce around a bit, I guess. I feel like I have the telephone lines I need. I'm curious what this woman... That's was woman's husband. But I should only go... should go find my only lead first. That man who's after Lee, uh, Lynn is sure to be... Head, heading to the junkyard right now. Better hurry. Okay. Aw, oh, I feel bad for that little girl there. I wonder if we're getting any closure on these guys. Okay. To the junkyard. Woo! Woo! <laughs> That'd be fun riding phone lines. God dang it! She better not be dead again. I'm be pissed off. Not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. Oh god! Don't be dead, dude. Is that Phoenix right? <laughs> it looks just like him. He's got the same outfit and hair and everything. Well, his hair's not quite as spiky, but. Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. Probably... CSI Miami! Or CSI... Uh... Uh, Fictional Game City, I don't know. <laughs> and the lamps over there dancing. Side of them, a certain someone has else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that real... That person really is, too. <laughs> I like how they're not noticing the lamp is... <laughs> well, Jenkins, look at that lamp. Seems to be bouncing up and down. <laughs> Whatever, I handle dead bodies. I don't care. Okay. Welcome back! You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start the criminal investigation, you know, and your murder. A murder case, eh? Where's Lynn? Is she alright? So you found out? She found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. <laughs> oh yeah, she got attacked by Peacock Pigeon Man. Oops. It's not like she was in some kind of immediate danger, not to mention the fact that Hitman is after her again. Well, I don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Uh, hello, expert. Custody? You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know. I'm just a desk clerk. I like shit. Stop asking questions! Well, I better see what I can find out. Trick time! Is that Phoenix right? <laughs> no. Oh, it's not Phoenix. Oh. I'll, I'll give him the fix voice anyway, because he looks a bit like him. Quite a, th quite a thing, huh, this case. Oh, damn it, there's another guy with glasses. Uh, he probably would actually have been a better emotional voice in retrospect. Uh, I'll give him the gumshoe voice or something. Yeah, I'm one of my own, one of my own, a murderer. That's eh, a roll over this. And she's a rookie, too. And she was cr carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't it aren't giving crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. Yeah, but I but I heard she was special. She's got strong ties to Inspector Caban Cabanella of the Special Investigation Unit. Huh. Glad I'm moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, we Tagger shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. <laughs> like me. <laughs> like me, Sergeant Dead Person. <laughs> oh crap, what do I okay, what do I want to give you? Uh I'll just give him a deep scarab. Like me. <laughs> I think he started talking too. Oh, he did. Think we can safe safely assume that the cause of death was the bullet he took in the chest. Bring the stretcher. I'll I'll look into the rest of the back of the lab. Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cabanella, head of the Special Investigation Unit, is on his way now. Special Investigation Unit? What do they want with a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanel's our top investigator. We don't want him to get all bent out of shape or there'll be hell to pay. <laughs> I don't see what that has to do with me. I, I don't 
really get what Cabanella wants to come for either. Brought us a big luck for him, but it makes things tougher on us. Hey, watch what you say behind his back. Never know who might be listening. Like me. <laughs> like me. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Is that disco stew? What the hell? Disco stew. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I could probably give him the the uh the seven voice, but I think I'm gonna give him the I'm gonna give him the rocker guy voice, baby. All the tension of the crime of a crime scene. I've been, I've been looking for a good character to do this voice with, baby. Who? Oh, he is so. Oh my! <laughs> that dance. Oh my god! Yeah, nothing like it, baby. <laughs> you are perfect for this voice. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip down. I'm going down the stairs. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> There's always some sandy characters in the police department, baby. Ooh, that must be Inspector Cabanella. <laughs> Evening, boys. How's it looking? Inspector Cabanella, thank you for coming. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine. You just told me that thought. I'm going to make a little phone call first. <laughs> oh, yeah. Even I, I even make a phone call sexy, baby. <laughs> so this is the head of the special investigation unit. He seems, uh, weird. <laughs> Trick time! Alright, back over here again. Deal me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? What the hell are you supposed to be? Uh. Is that a man or a woman? I don't even know. He looks like one of maybe like one of those weird nature people, maybe. Like. You know, I mean, if you love nature, it's great, you know, but like maybe one of those people who like. like save trees or something. Maybe. Or maybe a homeless person. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'll just... Going. How is it going, you ask? You'd like to know how it's going? I would say it's going well enough, about fair to average. If I had to say, yes, it's going all right. Not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. <laughs> Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn now, would you? <laughs> That's a nice fella. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park, yes. Oh, yes. I think it's, he's definitely one of the sort of hippie guys. <laughs> give me that. Yeah, give me that shit. Oh, sorry. sorry about that, Inspector. I just uh, just got here. Well, I'm glad to hear you made it. Th made it. The other fella just about threw me for a loop. <laughs> Started blathering about something about being the guardian of the park or some such. Yes, him. Uh, sorry, sorry about that. Well, start doing your staking and that. I'll think, baby, and buzz me if anything comes up. Yeah, yes, sir. Trace complete. Jeez, I've got a lot of places to go to. Is there like side quests in this game, or is it all kind of just linear? On? Nothing, sir. If I may read my report, sir. Talk you, oh doc, baby. Oh, Lord. Talking to me. Talking to me. I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? Don't need to tell... You don't need you to tell me how to do my job. <laughs> Anywho, I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Lynn, sir, I, I asked to let her... I asked her to be let herself be taken into cu custody voluntarily, sir. She's being det detained in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. <laughs> Super's office, eh? Super? <laughs> and where's that? J just beyond where you park your bi bicycle, Inspector. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Wow, <laughs> chica, wow! <laughs> Boom, chica, wow, wow, baby. <laughs> Carry on, boys. <laughs> Good luck, sir. I am one odd fellow, I am. Shaking my booty, I'm going up the stairs now. I'm shaking it down, a doodly doo dow. <laughs> They're like, the fuck was that? Trick time. Wait, what do they have to say? 
Here, Inspector Cabanella. Here's a stranger about him. He's always dancing and singing and calling me baby and smacking my ass. Makes me slightly uncomfortable. You can never say that again. You can say that again. And, I, and I've never seen anybody use the stairs the way he does. Or a phone, or ride a bicycle, or use an umbrella. <laughs> or he's dancing his, his way up the stairs of promotion that same area way. But I hear Lynn is his personal favorite. What's the deal between those two? Hey, how should I know? Okay, now what do I do? I suppose I, oh. <laughs> hey, look, it's me. I'm gonna possess my dead, lifeless corpse. Ah, I can't reach you. I think we can pretty safely assume that this was the murder weapon. Oh. Oh no, that pistol. Oh, is that Lynn's gun? Yep, same model as the pist pistols you detectives carry around. Yeah, you don't think it's Lynn's, do you? I'm guessing she. Yeah, she, this, she's a detective, right? So this is not good. If it's her, it's her. It's all over. So Lynn is a detective, and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it all mean? Did you shoot me in the face? Damn it! Trick time. Oh, okay. Did it give me? It didn't really give me anything, did it? Oh, I can examine it. This is the weapon that took my life. A pistol, eh? My memory seems to be a bit hazy on pistols, but I've seen them before, that's for sure. See, this part right here is the... Oh, shit! <laughs> Holy balls! Fool, if you want to start... If you want to fire the thing, eh? aim it in your own direction. I didn't fire it. I I'm the victim here. The gun... The gun is trying to kill me. This is the act of somebody who's jealous of my abilities as a detective. Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. And for the God's sakes, it, the God was over there. It was like five feet away from me. I'm sorry, did you think I used my te telekinetic mind powers to shoot the gun at you? Yes, you did. I knew you had it this whole time. <laughs> no, <laughs> you found out too much. You must die. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm sending more Mike Mushariga again. <laughs> well, I guess I proves a real gun. Bang. What, what was that? Is that what I think it was? The sound of a sound of a gun. Ah! Ah! The, the hell is? <laughs> look at the doctor. <laughs> Don't lie, you lion. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. Like that old riddle. Which came? Which came first, the ringing of the phone or the crime case? Uh, yeah. No. What? <laughs> Pretty sure the crime came first. Oh. What? Shut up! Shut up! Don't! Don't tie it up! Alright, whatever. <laughs> Trick time! Da, da, da. Uh, 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 up to the phone. Ah, oh, there you are. Do me a favor and have the doc come to the super's office, would you? Uh, he's pretty. He seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you? The green one or the blue one? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, I'm the green one, sir. <laughs> Listen, green, and get the good doc over here this instant. <laughs> oh, I'll see to it you never wear a green suit again. <laughs> yes, sir, I I'll send right up, sir. <laughs> I, I kind of went Damon Gant there. Seven, ah, whatever. Okay, now I can get to the super's office. Please, doctor, go to the superintendent's office immediately. <sighs> if I must. Fare thee well, I hope- <laughs> He's like holding his little stethoscope up. Trick time! What do these guys have to say? Whoa, what's going on? Don't ask me, but something really- seems really, really wrong. It just sounded like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. Alright, let's go. To the super's office! Woohoo! Yet another giant gun. No, another gunshot rings out in the lonely junkyard at the edge of town. So that gives me the feeling a new death will be waiting on the other side of the line. Apparently, I'm not the only one the Reaper's interested in tonight. But as long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anyone else die today. Not today. Oh no! It, oh, it ended a bit too early today. Uh, I can go a little longer. <laughs> It was usually it can go it goes about like forty or like fifty to an hour or something like that, but this is a little too short, I think. So I'll, I'll go for a little bit further. Yes, continue. 
Chapter 4, 8.23 p.m. Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when the fa their fate is death. Is their death. Oh, god dang it. Don't tell me the girl is dead again. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. Yep. No, Lynn, hang in there, baby. God dang it, why is she dead again? Oh, uh... It looks like some piece of the trash shot can... Josh shot her from the top of the pile of the garbage outside. I don't even know what that voice is. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... I don't know what that is. I'm gonna just kind of roll with it. So I can't allow that, pigeon man. I investigate and you superintend. You have your job and I have mine. Let's leave it each. Let's each to. Let's leave each to his own profession, shall we? Yeah. Well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? I. Oh, Tam. Anyway, have it your way. I'll stay out of your hair. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. Sort of, sort of Jamaican, I guess. Kind of. Not really. All right. I'm gonna go feed the pigeons. Oh, what the hell is it? <laughs> what the hell? You should know the kitty put it out for. Do that. Thank you, pigeon. I love you. <laughs> he just slid down the thing. Oh boy. I got a feeling somebody else is dead in here. Oh, yep. Doc, what took you so long? Quit dragging your feet. Who are you to shout at me? Let me have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked at it, but I can tell she's dead. I already tell she's dead. Your second death of the night, actually. God dang it. Oh, oh I got a core I can go interact with. Move! Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Sometimes the little controller thing doesn't work out for... I don't know. I don't know why, but... Alright. Hello, ghost. I caught this time as well, eh? Wake up! Where am I? Oh, she's coming too. What happened to me? Excuse me? Are you ignoring me? Oh, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm still used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead? So I'm dead, huh? <laughs> I said, I would be kind of like, I'm dead? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm trying some light. I can't seem to remember who I am. It's starting to remind me of, remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lynn, if that's any help. Lynn? Pretty cute... Lynn, huh? Pretty cute name. And apparently you're a detective, too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and un upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yes, that kind of detective. You're also that dead person on the floor there. Hey, wait a minute! Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose! Uh. <laughs> Something aren't really unusual is going down in this town tonight, baby. Yeah, I sort of want to argue with you really with the really unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Take another look. You're the dead one. You're the one with the boobs. <laughs> oh right, of course. It'll be like be pretty heinous if I look like this, I guess, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know if heinous is the right word, but yeah. Kinda Austin Powers y. There we go! Boob power go! There now this is more like it! Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Like seriously, what the freaking fruity butch nuggets? Do have anything to do with my own death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Uh-oh? Uh? Huh? Can't remember a thing. It's probably because I'm dead. God, everything's so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I've got, I've got some things to ask you about. Uh... Me! Look for the answers to the questions, who am I and why was I killed? You're thinking that might help me. The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. And it rhymes with... Pissel and... <laughs> Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. It ring any... some kind of... It rings some kind of bell, anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know... must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. My, my ass was floating in the air, remember? Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now! 
I knew it! I knew you were the lead I needed. But I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help. I can help you. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Why not? Because I don't know you. Ah, uh, I knew it. I didn't think she actually knew me, honestly. I mean, I was pretty sure that she came up across my dead body. It seemed like... What do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. I remember the fact that I don't know you. <laughs> uh, no, no way. No. Okay, what about your death? Oh, come on. Jesus, this thing f keeps screwing up. I use this uh, D3 tool, TS3 tool to get my controller to work on my, uh, on these different uh, emulators and stuff. And for some reason, it's giving me a lot of trouble with this this game. I, I I didn't have this problem when I was playing Phoenix Wright, but for some reason, this one's giving me trouble. Lyndon's death. So I died, huh? Yes, apparently. <laughs> Very sorry. It's your second time, by the way. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test finally this year, my exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me. Why did I have to go and die in a jungle junkyard like this? Borky, the shock is setting in. So I told her everything that happened tonight, about ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, and about going back four minutes before a person's death. It's all right, I'll probably save you somehow. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, though. You know, you were already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me. That's right. You don't remember? <laughs> I was awesome. <laughs> hey, you know, while you're still a ghost, we should make ghostly babies. Because <laughs> I think we can do that, maybe. Oh, yeah, and I felt like... 30 feet off the f <laughs> off the floor. Hmm, yes, I think I do remember something like that happening, vaguely. Yes, I did get shot by a, by a blue man dressed in all in black. <laughs> Wait, you mean his skin was, is actually blue? <laughs> That's kind of weird. This just means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. Freaky. So I died twice already tonight. Wish I knew what to say, say to her. I guess I'll just have to wait just until she recovers a little. Hey, I bet there's some kind of record, don't you think? <laughs> uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she's pretty much recovered already. <laughs> Sweet! I set the record for most deaths in one night! I'm awesome! <laughs> so you don't know me, huh? Nope, wish I did. Wish I did. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> you bet you wish you did. <laughs> yeah, I know, not interested. <laughs> what? I'm a ghost! I got awesome superpowers and I saved your life! What? what? That should be a massive turn on. Nope, sorry, not doing it. Son of a bitch. I'm not saving you again, too bad. So you suppose we're just two strangers you happen to meet tonight? No way, I don't think it was any accident. Why in the world would I be out way out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come by who? Can you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding. You mean... Bingo by you. Oh. I asked you to come here, but why? Why would you listen to me if you don't even know? If she doesn't even know me, why the? That's what I was going to ask you. Why did you ask me to come here? Come here tonight, way out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me, son of a bitch! It goes without saying that I don't fucking know. God, everything's so confusing. Can't you do something? Use your ghostly, your stupid ghost powers or something. Uh, Lynn, I'm not gonna say. I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a fear to ask. <laughs> I'm not saying you owe me for you know saving you. Saving you from- and probably gonna save you again from dying. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am, why I was killed? I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. The fuck? W why not? <laughs> okay, then I guess I just won't bring you back to life. <laughs> I don't remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. So if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find anything about you. Fucking great. <laughs> I know that's a terrible thing to say to a person who's already saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry, but fuck you. <laughs> I see, that fucking sucks. <laughs> but I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> go, say, go save yourself. Hey, I gotta do it. Why don't you use your cool ghosty powers? Oh, what? You don't have any? Ha! <laughs> Sucks to be you, bitch. Then he's leave. <laughs> Even though I probably won't be able to help you. Uh... I know it's selfish for me. I really apologize. But I, I can't just... Just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. 
I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that I might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case in spite of all that. Am I out of line? Fuck yeah, you are. I tell you a minute ago, you don't, you don't owe me. Oh? Uh? <laughs> so they're not gonna treat your life like some kind of gar bargaining chip. <laughs> but Nico B is, <laughs> isn't that right, Nico? You're right, Cecil. <laughs> it's a no deal. I'll save you. What do you, what you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you get shot in the freaking face. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm not sure if I want to relive that again. Too bad. Woohoo! Gonna go back in time. Lynn's second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those kind of circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me, but she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. Four minutes before death. 18 main building. Alright, let's see what happens. Here we go. I have a, I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh, I was hungry, so I was trying to get something, something delivered. What? Don't do that. <laughs> I'm hungry. Feed me. Oh, I'm sorry. Sleep jobs like that to me. Is chicken all right? Mmm, I love chicken. Mmm, mmm, I'm a detective. <laughs> I'm a police officer who loves chicken. Mm. That's why I'm called Officer Chicken. Chicken dinner. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. Well, that's too fucking bad. You're eating your chicken. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. But Officer Chicken Dinner, please. I'm sorry. Spooner Cabinell is on his way. He will be here any minute. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> Inspector knows how to make an entrance, baby. Evening patrol, man. Good, good evening, Inspector Cabanilla, sir. Nice work. And now do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you, baby? <laughs> That's a nice fellow. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> Get on out of here, <laughs> Officer Patrolman Chicken Dinner. Chicken Dinner, away! I have chickens to go dinner. Wait, no, that's not right. <laughs> Yo, how's it going, baby? We're gonna, you wanna, we're gonna get giggity right here. <laughs> Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? Are they like lovers or something? Uh, I hope, I hope not. That'd be kind of weird. It looks kind of old. But the special investigation you had an important top secret assignment tonight. <laughs> it does, and it's in your pants, baby. Oh, God. <laughs> God, okay, I'm sorry. That's, that's, uh, I don't know. I, when it's really like older guys with a young woman, it's kind of weird. Uh, so. What does that matter to him like this when my lens in crisis? Oh, he's got to be your father. <laughs> that made it even weirder, baby. <laughs> I appreciate it, sir. It's got to Even though they don't... Well, they don't really look alike, though. Wait a minute. Did you say, just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspected of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit. I mean, I've never even met the guy before. Never, baby. Oh, well, uh, before tonight, I mean, he asked me to meet him here. He said he had some like, important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. Oh, okay. Oh, the plot thickens. I see, I see, but it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now, and I didn't see you listed as involved on any big, big cases. Lay it on me, sister. <laughs> you know I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type of to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows? Who knows you better than me, baby? You know if anything ever happened to you. I never be able to look at him in the eye again. Oh. Um. Maybe. Maybe not her father. Maybe, I don't know. That may sound like, can look at him in the eye. Maybe someone, he, maybe he's like her foster. He's like, I don't know, adopted father. I, I don't know. And like a, a friend of her father's. Inspector Calum, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, what's that? I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? 
Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what I'm just talking about, baby. Get down! <laughs> Holy shit. Seems to, to me, baby, is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Kamenella, no, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that. Anyway, it looks like the hitman fired from outside. It was, it was probably the guy I squashed, right, that shot me? I mean, seeing as the, he was hanging around with a shotgun. It's hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it a try. A four-minute game. All right. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly, but... Maybe d maneuver that desk lamp, which i got to get over to. Oh, wait, here we go. All right, let's do this. Okay, I can move that. Oh, I can go downstairs. I can't do anything, so... That's pretty much all right, all right. Let's move this thing. Go! Oh, I'm going to this... Not this end! I can't reach her. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Yes, sir. Oh, she put the book there. Now I can probably move, right? One chicken dinner, please. All right. What we got here? What's up with this blinding pink notebook? Oh, that's mine. Isn't it, ador isn't it adorable? Hee <laughs> hee. Why isn't your adorable notebook... Why, why isn't your adorable notebook in your pocket? I panicked, okay? Don't, don't you shove things in bookcases when you panic? Who are you calling, anyway? It was personal business. Um... Oh, I, oh, I can reach this. Uh. Hey, what's going on on the other end of this phone here? Ah! <laughs> Hello, the chicken kitchen. You want the chicken? We got to your chicken. Is that your... Is that his nose? What the hell? Uh, I got your chicken. It's right here, right on my nose. It is hanging out today. You want a pizza? I'll give you a pizza. One chicken dinner, please. Would you mind? Would you like an order of fried chicken with that? Oh, that's. Oh, that's okay. Go there. Uh. Let's just go there. See what happens. Maybe that's where. Maybe that's where he's. She's being shot from, or something. Maybe. Might as well. Hello. Where would you like that to be delivered? Oh, they hung up. Oh, nobody likes me, dude. This the chicken kitchen, okay. Well, I'm guessing it must be close by because you're. Ah! La la la. Oh, what does it matter? Chicken order or two lost. <laughs> it were three order. If it were three orders, that'd be a different story, though. La la la. It's sort of turning to hog curry, but it's sort of. It's sort of a mixture of Indian and Italian, I guess. See. Uh, Okay, uh... Telephone book, menu board, ring. Ding. We just popped over here while I had the chance without much thought. But this isn't where the hitman who's trying to, to kill me is. Clearly. Probably ought to hurry back. Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. Ah, oh, I thought... So I guess there was no reason to go over here. That's funny. What's the matter? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Use the telephone line glows red, but I don't see it right now. But we came here by telephone. Apparently in this four minutes before Death World, we can only use the lines while the telephone is being used to make a call. Oh. You're, you're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. Guess we'll have to start over. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm gonna turn this lamp on. Be old. Lamp power. Oh, swivel? Woo! Oh! Oh! Light this thing here. Maybe he'll see it, and that'll do something. Behold, pink notebook! Huh? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. What the doodle? She, I saw her do stuff earlier. Yes, nothing is past me. <laughs> Officer Chicken Dinner. I thought I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. Of course! No, that was definitely his... That was definitely suspicious. No question. I better report this. What if I can make the... the Make a call without her noticing. Oh, good! Here we go. Yes! Telephone! What's up? 
I've been watching Lynn just like you told me to. And I know something is suspicious. You did, so, so Inspector Cabanella was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, eh? Yes, sir. I went in a very suspicious manner and in a very conspicuous place. And anything else? Um, let's see. It's been getting a notebook. Oh my god! It's more suspicious than that. Uh, anything else? Um, let's see. Come to think of it, she was using the phone when I came in too and referring to her notebook. Okay, so someone will, so will be over later. Don't let let on you notice anything. Like an idiot. Alright, here we go. Hey, look at that. The phone line is glowing red. I bet it would work if we tried it now. I bet you're right. The detective he's talking about too is outside the junkyard. And that's where the horrible hitman is after me is too. No, I'm gonna stay here. I'm just kidding. Go! Go, go, ghostly powers! Do, 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 do. Okay. How the hell did they not see him? Where, where is he? Oh, I'm away for you! Oh, what are you? <laughs> just like that sounds like an old grandpa. <laughs> is that what I'm supposed to sound like? <laughs> I just like that sounds more like Mickey Mouse, actually. <laughs> get, your, get your sound effects right, lady. That's not what I sound like. Just call me Ray. <laughs> oh, Ray. Gran grandpa Ray. You have to get the grandpa part in there somewhere, don't you? We're souls. We can choose any parents we, we like. And I choose to sound like Mickey Mouse for some reason. Or Monokuma, whatever you, whatever floats your boat. Which means really have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Now then, about that gunshot that took your life. It's gonna be someone, it's gonna be someone like we know, probably, right? Or someone we meet along the way. It's probably why it's not showing us some big secret reveal. I heard it way up on the upper level. Uh, scat, scat a few minutes from, scat a few minutes from now. Oh. Is he hiding in the garbage or something? I mean, I was probably in his rifle ready for it right now. Where is he? All right, I'm going in. I'll get him with the, those ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young lady, but you don't have those powers. Because you suck. You fucking suck. What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason. You just suck. <laughs> but only a few, few, few special few are the powers of the dead. <laughs> what? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair. Anyway, we don't have much time. Well, hey, you've died twice in a day. That's pretty special. <laughs> You're pretty special <at> sucking. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Come on and hop in. Go over here, you little bastard. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. Smack it. Smack of that ass. Carry on, boys. <laughs> fate changed. Why is it fate changed? It didn't even do anything. All right, let's go. <laughs> Dude, I like this music. Alright, take me up next. Oh, oh wait, I gotta just kill this. Yeah, this thing here. Okay, fold! Up we go and do the thing. Alright, open. Yes. Uh. Got a spotlight here. Okay, turn it off, probably. And that'll do something. Damn it! Oh, we made it. Now it's time to hunt down that horrible hitman. Must be around here somewhere, preparing to take a shot. There's a lot of time. Let's try to find him fast. I'm gonna make a make good and sure he understands. What happens to people who point guns at others? There's a gleam in her eye that's absolutely blinding. Oh God, it burns! Okay, uh, what do I do? Can I get this guy's attention? Hey, hey, look! Hey, hey, stupid! Look over here! What do I do? I'm stuck over here. Oh, oh, bicycle. Come bicycle power. Uh. <laughs> oh, I am a bicycle, baby. I don't know what the point of turning the light on was. Probably no point. Oh, here we go. Oh, there he is. Wow, he's ballsy. How do they not see him up there? I see my target. Time to go to work. I'm going to shoot you in the face, baby. Unlike that other hitman, I got glasses, so I can actually see you! I'll be head of the hitman di division by next month now for sure! <laughs> there he is, that horrible hitman! <laughs> wow, really? Nobody sees him? Nobody? I think his name is actually Tango, but that doesn't matter now. <laughs> I think his name is actually Mushurige, but nah, we're gonna kill him anyway. <laughs> we'll have to stop him from shooting fast. Can I drop a wrecking ball on him? <laughs> That'd be fantastic. I need another wrecking ball right now. Uh... Oh, open. Open, baby. 
Uh. Yeah, blind you. <laughs> there, we put a stop to that shot, at least. We did it, so I'm safe now, right? Well, I changed your fate a little, but I didn't very, very completely. We're not done yet. That man's a professional, and re he really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. I doubt blocking a shot here, here and there is really going to stop him. If you want, want to rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't be in the report. <laughs> Let's take something else before we get into it. Get, gets, an, gets a shot in. Okay, good. All right. Is he going to... Now what do I do? I don't know what, what is he going to do. Pop up someplace else? Oh, he is. <laughs> All right. That was weird. But this time, if I want that position, I have to be careful of even the l least bit of light. Oh, I see. It's probably a good thing I turned that other light on then, right? Vision head is my ambition for this year. Next year, my motto will be, if I want to be director, I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. <laughs> It sounds like you won't show up in spots where a light is on. And, and next year, I'm going to spread some nasty scandalous rumors about him. <laughs> okay, uh, well, how am I going to do this? I can't... Oh! Oh! Did 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 <laughs> oh, that was weird. I think I, I'm pretty sure I saw a guy over there with a gun. Oh well, Lou, Lou, Lou. Oh, look at that! The one of the one of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently, we can't have all three of them on at once. Our station is crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. Just so another detective could see what he was doing the other day, I had to put all my bike in place in place to work the headlamp. Very sad tale indeed. It's like they're taking things way too far. Uh, what am I supposed to do then? Huh, nothing happens. That's funny. This lever was for swinging the crane, crane arm around. I like to swing that horrible hitman around. And this crane. wonder if, it, if there's some other way we can use it. Okay. Oh, flashing light. <laughs> hey, did you do that flashlight? flashing light on? I want my... I want all by myself. Scare the heck out of me! I nearly shit myself. Well, just make sure, just make sure you lay off, you know. Okay, don't want to waste the electricity. Everything's gotten that tight. Eh, that's pretty sad. They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power sites. They won't even let us use one our searchlights at once. Oh boy. Well, we are free to at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. Oh, god damn. Fuck budget cuts. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, okay. He's gonna pop over next to the other thing again, right? Uh, okay, maybe raise this. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, open! For some reason. <laughs> wow, that was weird. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to fucking do. That's not good. What? No, this is not where I want to be. I didn't accomplish anything doing that, did I? Whoa. Uh, what did that do? Wow, such power and speed. But then put a nice stop to the horrible hitman. What? If it just, yeah, if it just stopped him, that'd be fine. But if it killed him, I would be, uh, would I be able to save him? <laughs> hey, let's just focus on the stopping part. We think, thinking about things too deeply isn't something you like, you like to do. Just the right amount. Just the right amount. That's the, w the way detectives think about things. Now, come on, let's do this thing. This love stomach got evil. It makes me feel so alive. So the fact that you're dead. Oh, I see. Uh, I gotta get him there. I have the fucking wrong lamp. Damn it. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck, I had... now. No, it was a bad idea that I turned that fucking lamp on. Yeah, there we go. Now you're going down. Mm, that's quite a distance from the target. I can't work under a spotlight after all. Never mind, I shot like this was nothing for a man of my skill. <laughs> I'm Oshirige. I've got glasses! <laughs> Mr. Visionhead seems to like dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. Come on, sis. Let's, sis, oh, let's get him. Hold up, when, did I, when I become her assistant, I'm the one with the ghost powers. Why is he going backward? 
no! He was going over there, and then they cut to the stupid scene, and... Ugh. Waste all that time with him talking. Oh, come on! This is bullshit! I can't... There's no way I'm gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Ugh. Can I pause it? Let, let stop it maybe for a second. Oh, come on! There's no way he's gonna be able to shoot her! Uh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Come on, just go. Uh, 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 come on. Go, go, go. Uh, die, motherfucker. God, I cut that close. <laughs> Did you hear a scream just now? <laughs> I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. <laughs> <laughs> there. <laughs> Holy fuck, I cut that close. A nice dark spot for our gloom loving, love hit, loving it, man. I think your death has just been erased again. Fate averted. Ooh. Take that, you freaking bastard. Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I have powers like yours? If I could do things like you, it could really help me pursue my case. Why on the special few, huh? It's not fair. Well, I don't know. At least you get to be, I don't know, fucking alive. It's the same thing little doggy said, too. Well, I'm just a few, actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved, even if you die again tonight. I can save you with my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though, because I'm stuck here. So thanks for nothing. Oh, right! I forgot you're dead. It sucks to be you. As far as the dead, why have they chosen me? Why can't I drink my own fucking fate? I'm gonna find the answer to that question tonight. Sisla, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're free to do as you please now. This is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all I have to do is die. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I was kidding. Well, I guess we better get back to... The present. Gotta go. <laughs> and she's gonna be like, <laughs> and nothing in that direction. Nothing. Well, nothing's gonna have happened. She'll be like, I don't know. They'll just keep talking. And she, well, she, this is, I guess she, will she remember that she was almost killed here? Let's we'll skip death for a second time. But that doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. We're gonna see how she's doing. Okay, now this is where I take the fucking umbrella. Go umbrella power. Whee! Well, looks like congratulations, Erdor. There is just another death. But I haven't gotten any further in solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds the truth, holds the key. Don't forget that. Don't forget it. If you know how many, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna flash you in the eyes. What, huh? Now she's alive again. She's probably still being detained in the super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I better go to the super's office and see her. Sounds like a good idea. Ghost powers away. <laughs> so I go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. When cha her fate changed fate, her story was sure to change too. And maybe that would lead us in some new direction. Now Lynn is alive again. I wonder what she's doing. She says she was investigating an important case tonight. Could, it, could that be connected to me in any way? Yes, good. I was hoping it would, I was hoping it'd end right here. This is perfect. All according to plan. Alright guys, so I'm gonna edit here. Like for if you enjoyed, subscribe now and boy the SLP with the days are sunny and the fizz are funny and the tricks are always ghosty or ghosts are always tricky or the doodles are always nuggety. <laughs> anyway, see you next time guys. Stay classy.